Good evening. Hello. How's your weekend going? It is fine. Yes. And what, what have you done today? Uh, nothing much. Like, uh, I woke up early in the morning today. I went outside. I just, uh, I took a morning walk. It was beautiful weather, right? So after that, I came home and today I have been watching a match, cricket match. Because, mm-hmm. you know, right now, World Cup is going on. Cricket match, World Cup is going on. So uh, today it was a match, India versus England. So I have been watching the match. Yeah. Are you are you a big cricket fan? Uh, so I'm not kind of, you know, obsessed with cricket match. But yes, uh, I have been playing cricket. I, I love cricket commentary, English cricket commentary. So mm. my association goes with cricket since childhood. And that's why I love cricket match. Do you, do you still play cricket now? Uh, yes, sometime off and on, like whenever I have time, because I'm busy with my business. So I don't have enough time to play cricket. But mm. whenever I get chance, whenever I get a holidays, I play cricket. Do you usually play with your friends or do you usually play with colleagues? Right now, even I don't have friends, you know, like uh, uh, in India, uh, wherever you would go, you would see people are playing cricket. But uh, for example, today was Sunday and uh, uh, on Sunday's morning, if you go any ground of India field, you would see people, bunch of people are playing cricket match and you can join them. So whenever I get time, you know, I go and I just join in their group. So it's not like I have team or I have friends with me now. But in India, everywhere people are crazy about cricket match. So they play cricket. So you can play with anybody here. And, and have you met any of your good friends through joining these matches or is it very sort of casual? sorts of casual right so i don't have many friends i have few friends and i don't think you know i got him through our cricket match yeah he was my friend long before mm, no definitely and, and you mentioned having your own business what 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 business are you in uh i own an institute so i'm also a teacher at my own institute uh, i have a i have hired a couple of tutors and you know i'm running institute here uh, and and are you teaching English? Uh, I don't teach English. I teach chemistry. But now my inclination towards English is growing day by day. So uh, I have been teaching English grammar, but now I think you know more than English grammar. I would love to teach communication skill in future. And I've mm. been already working with my students, but I think I will scale up this uh, teaching in, around my city because uh, there is a lack of good English teacher in my city. Like, People know English, but they cannot speak English. They cannot teach communication skills in English. So mm-hmm. that's what I could do. And I'm enjoying right now uh, my chemistry teaching. But more than that, I, I think, you know, in future, I'm going to enjoy English. It seems like, yeah, my heart is now telling me, like, you know, come on, what are you doing? You can be a good English tutor as well. Would there be an opportunity for you to teach both or would you prefer to start only teaching English? Uh, no, I uh, already I'm teaching chemistry and English both right now, but I'm teaching to my own students, my own students who is in my institution. But, you know, uh, once I will start teaching communication, then people from all around, they will come even, you know, grown up, one grown up man. Like right now, most of the teenagers are at my institute. So once I will start uh, uh, teaching uh, communication skills, people from all background, like adults, uh, one who are at job, everybody wants to learn English because in India, if you know how to speak in English, uh, you will have lots of advantages at your job, at your career. So that's what would happen. And uh, I think, you know, I would also enjoy teaching these adult people. Yeah, mm. so that's No, definitely. No, that sounds really exciting. Yeah, it sounds exciting. So I'd like to know a little bit about you now. Like, mm. what do you do? Yeah, what are your hobbies? No, Where definitely. are you from? You haven't told me. So um, I'm from the UK, but I come from a, a small country called Wales. So it's just west of England. I know Wales. Yeah. Okay. And what, what have you heard about Wales? Like, I heard it. It is a small country just besides England, right? 
So mm. like we have Bangladesh, near, uh, Bangladesh just beside India, a small country, right? So that just similar to that. I know even a Scotland. I think a Scotland is close to that Wales. Yeah. So or, it goes um, Wales, England, and then Scotland's above England. Yeah, I, I think in past all were the part of British Empire. I mean, it was British in part of British Empire. Later on, these countries get separated from England. Mm, yes. Um, yeah. So at the moment, it's um, Scotland is wanting a vote on independence. So they wanting to be um, um, they want to move away from England politically as well. Um, Wales is a bit behind that so we still are our own independent country but um but a lot of the laws in wales are created by england so england still um sort of have a lot of uh control Dominance. over education and government and health and business and things like that okay yeah. so i could understand right yeah, I think Scotland is uh, a free country. I I know the rivalry between England and Scotland. Uh, kind of, you know, there is a rivalry or... Uh, am I right? Yes. Yeah. So it's it's not as intense as, um, as with uh, the Republic of Ireland um, because they were successful in wanting to be independent. Whereas with Scotland... Um, they um sort of in the in medieval times it, there was a lot of battles there was a lot of uh, political disruption but um nowadays it's um a lot of people would like for Scotland to remain part of the UK they did have a referendum and they decided to remain in the UK but i think there's been a lot of decisions taken by english government like brexit that Scotland voted clearly not to have Brexit. So there's a lot of political disagreement and conversations of that they're not being uh, properly represent represented in Parliament. Um, so a lot of things like that, where I think we will see um, them have another referendum in the future. Um, but they are their own country, but similar to Wales, a lot of the laws are dictated by England. So England mm -hmm. has control over education, healthcare, um, business, even sort of um, how much teachers and uh, bin men are paid. It's uh, a lot oh. of dictation from, from England. Oh, I mean, you know, uh, I, I know Wales has its own leader, everything it has. I think do do this country have their own constitution like a scotland or wales or no just it goes with the oh british's constitution yeah so yeah so so how it works is that there's um so there are so we are independent countries but the, our independent countries are dictated by the constitution that England has created and England can control. So the centre of all our political activity is in London. But in London, they decide um, what England, um, Wales and Scotland and um, Ireland, what they have control over changing. So we do have our own political presence in Wales. Scotland also has their own political presence in Scotland, but they are only able to change a certain amount of things and they can only change them in a certain way that England has told them is all right. So England says, you are allowed to change this in these kinds of ways. This is what you're not allowed to change. This is what we are in control over that you can't change for yourself. If that makes so sense. I think you know. So I think the people from Wales and Scotland wouldn't be happy with the England. Or are they happy? They are. They are agree with this dominance. So that's. Um. So that's also complicated because there's. Um. So in the UK, there's a lot of different political parties. 
and those political parties, some of them want independence, some of them want to remain as part of a united kingdom, um, kingdom yeah. um, and that uh, they would prefer for us all to be together. Some people believe that independence would be best. Um, a lot of people have different opinions on it. People change their minds all the time. In, in Wales, it's very unlikely that we'll be independent anytime soon, very unlikely, because we have no history of, um, of revolting or demanding independence. Whereas the Republic of Ireland and Scotland have a long history of having independent political parties and for them being popular. Um, I think in Scotland, more people are becoming unhappy with remaining um, in the United Kingdom um, because they, the politics is different in Scotland, that they don't agree with a lot of what England is, is choosing for the United Kingdom. Um, and so they're more vocal about that. Um, in Wales, it's more 50-50. And there's a lot of disagreement with with England, but not necessarily to the extent of wanting independence. So it's, it's a bit confusing where a lot of people are unhappy with the choices of England, but don't want to be independent. And a lot of people wanting Brexit, but then wanted to be independent. It's very confusing. There's not a, a clear voice, I guess. Mm -hmm. there's, um, there's a lot of conversation, there's a lot of disagreement. Um, but not a clear voice of what should be done or what Wales would like. Great, I can understand. 